Ladies and gentlemen, in TV land, this is Focus on Liberia. Focus on Liberia. It's an online television, and today we are at the Barclay Training Center here in this quarter, where the president is dedicating officially opening the Unification Park and the PHP community. You're welcome to this broadcast, yes, this live broadcast. Yes, my name is Gwendolyn Dorado. I'm the host of my dreams. So right now we're receiving a, the president is almost here. The ask of Khan has arrived. So you're welcome. And I want to give me to focus on the media.
I talk to anybody for the food line, I will take the food. And I talk to you if for food line, I will take the food. Put the light off. I don't even have to go. Put the light off. Today, December 23, 2023, at about this time. Invocation by Reverend Festo Arabi Logan, Executive Director of Archie Piracy. Very pleased. Who can ascend to the holy hills of the Lord? He will have clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his hand in vanity? May we stand, please. Father, we bless you and we thank you. For this is the day you have made. A day to rejoice and the day to be glad. Time and chance happen to them all. We bless you for this time. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Next will be welcome remarks by Honorable Jefferson Tamakoji, Mayor City Government Moridi. Mr. President, as a mayor 
I want to say thank you, Mr. President, for ensuring or completing a duty which of which a Liberian people gave you. So today I want to say welcome here as we come to perform our sort of duty as Liberians. Thank you so kindly. Have a wonderful woman. Thank you. Thank you. That was the voice of the Lord Mayor of the city of Morogi. Former president, uh, the former president of Nigeria, Madam Ella Johnson Sele, has arrived to grace the occasion. I'm pleased to announce the arrival of the former president, Excellency Madam Ellen Johnson Sele. to be here to support me today. That left how thank you for coming. Today is a unique day in my life. Today, a legacy project for the president is being inaugurated. This project came about when we traveled to Senegal. It was an inspiration that we saw in Seninga that the president told me that we should make better in Liberia. And today, what we what you see here is better than what we saw in Seninga. And President, another thing, the greatest thing you see here was another inspiration when we traveled to Equatorial Guinea. We went for a presidential trip and we saw this 
and we decided to make it better in Liberia. The facility you see here was done, it was the brain of PDU. The PDU was brought to Liberia and it was captured from Tony Blair by Her Excellency Madam Ellie Justice Salim. Thank you very much for adding PDU to the Ministry of State with our portfolio. Thank you. But what they did was to track project and we decided to go a little bit further to formulate and to design our own project. So this project you see here today was taken to UAE and a grant of five million dollars was given to the president for him to construct this project. We had to match that grant with 20% and then when we started the refurbishment war we added another two million from the government and this is what you are seeing here today. The, comp the project here comprised of Sago Field, parking lot, we have gymnasium, we have basketball court, we have stores, we have food court, we have for the first time in Liberia, and I would say in Africa, one of the longest boat walk is 750 meters long. This whole project, the most important part of this project is what we have been calling the Unity Square. I don't know how the president would name it, but for now, it holds a lot of history. And as we go to the Unity Square, some of those history will be told tonight. So I say thank you for the opportunity. And I, Mr. President, Thank you for allowing me to serve. I thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. That was Honorable Chokon Queen, the Minister of State of our portfolio. Now I'm pleased to invite Honorable G. Andy Kwame, Deputy Minister of Sports and the Ministry of Sports. I was told to come back here because special I left out. For the first time in the history of life, and for the first time in Africa, you will have a field that is just used by female. And for the first time, we constructed the first uh, uh, kickball field in Liberia. <laughs> Liberia and it will not be shared with men. It will just be for female. And for some reason, I left it out and the president told me it was too important for me to do that. Thank you very much. At this moment, I'm pleased to invite Honorable G. Andy Quimmy, the Deputy Minister of Sports at the Ministry of Youth and Sports, for remarks. Mr. President, Madam Ellen Joseph Sally, former, former president of Liberia. Mr. Kimela and members of the cabinet. Members of the diplomatic corps here present. Members of the fourth estate. Members of the transitional team here present. We want to recognize you. Citizens of the PHP community, fellow Liberians. Mr. President, we want to say thank you. Few, few years back, you developed the Invisible Sports Park. That Invisible Sports Park today is the biggest playground for our students, wedding reception, and where people go to take photos. They are exposed, our children, 
for schools, they go there on fee straight. Most of the time, they see um, it moving. But in reality, the invisible sports park for one that the students go there for free trip, go there for visitation, and go there to play. We want to say thank you. Today, you are leaving three international standard sports park and two feet. PSP can be compared to the one in Senegal, the one in Equatorial Guinea, and many other places in Africa, probably around the world. We want to say thank you. To also develop a special fee for our Keyboard Federation, we want to say thank you. Let me say this much. Liberia is the only country that they play kickball. In 1971, there was a peace call that came to Liberia. That copied the way they play baseball in America and integrated our people, our, our women. The exact way they play kickball in America, they just put it a little bit to play kickball. And today we play kickball actively. But there is no stadium, there is no fee specifically for keyboard. But this PHP park will have exclusivity for keyboard players to come here to play. <laughs> At least the keyboard federation now will have a home. Instead of going to the SKD to play just in the park and anywhere in Liberia. Most times they go to play on the field, the men dominate the game football might not let them to play depending on the time available to them. But in this community, PHP, they will have an exclusive football field to play their keyboard. Mr. President, at least if you live in the door community, there is a there. You have to go to the Invisible Park because in those communities there is a playground. If you live in a PSP community, there is a modern facility. You don't have to go to Invisible Sports Park, but at least the PSP Sports Park can show you exactly what we have been lacking internationally and the best standard you can ever boast of. We have it now. Our biggest challenge will be how. The PSP community, Liberians, and Adlis will maintain those facilities. So maintenance will be key. The way we will maintain this will give us the opportunity for those who are managing it to extend from three international standard park to maybe five, six, seven, or ten. Finally, Mr. President, we want to say thank you. This is a legacy signature program of your project. We hope those who will come after you will maintain and even extend the impact you are leaving behind. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much, Honorable Kwame, for that brilliant remark. At this juncture, I'm Please to invite for a performance by Heavy Sin. Mama Nabira Heavy Sin. Please come, put your hands together.
Now this song sounds the stage is heavy set. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we welcome on the stage Taku Jezu.
good because you are Liberians and you know how to break records. Madam 
Eddie Johnson selling former president of the Republic of Liberia, the dean and members of the cabinet, official of government, the president, His Excellency Adlan Abi Saeed Afai, Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates, the Republic of Liberia, the join and members of the Diplomatic Corps, our special guests, bishops, prelates, and members of the clergy, chiefs and traditional leaders, our development partners, superintendents and local government officials, political and business leaders, marketers and pimpins, rather, motorcyclists, students, members of the Fourth Estate, my fellow citizens, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> to those that sit in, please stand and join me for a moment of silence. For those that perish here on this beach, Thank you. May their souls and all other faithful departed rest in perfect peace. Today marks a significant milestone in our collective resolve to improve Liberia's broken infrastructure. We have gathered here to celebrate the opening of a modern sports and recreational park which is set to become one of the largest in the region. This ceremony is happening at a quite a unique time when we usher in the festive season, a period of love and giving. It also comes at a time when Liberians are demonstrating to the world their strong determination to maintain the peace of our one troubled nation, as well as their unflinching support to uphold the tenets of democracy and the rule of law. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am honored and extremely excited to know that the little boy for the clone rather Bakumbe, Josh Usman, Tajno Manewuya, who who once lived was his cousin Tinako in the PHP community and is now the 24th president of the Republic of Liberia. Has <laughs> once again realized his dream and aspiration for the well-being of his fellow Liberians. <laughs> so today I am proud to be here to attend the dedication and commission of this historic project for the people of Liberia and the people of Busa Quarter and the PHP community. <laughs> Where I spent some of my formative years in this one symbolic act, I have satisfied my burning desire to give back to my people. <laughs> this multi-purpose path will be named the Liberian, the Liberia Unification Park. <laughs> the Liberia Unification Park will be the representation of how far we have come as a nation 
in the promotion of peace and should be a reminder to all Liberians of the need to continuously foster unity in the interest of Mama Liberia and to continuously work collaboratively for our collective good. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a writer once said, the advantage of tribal lies not in the places you visit, but in the transformation of the traveler, who returns home with a broader perspective and a heart full of experience. <laughs> I can personally attest to that because during my first official visit in Senegal in 2018, I was inspired by an outdoor gym along the shores, the shores of Dakar, a place where people from far and near gather to exercise and socialize. The scene left an imprint on my mind and I decided to create something similar for Liberia. The concept was quickly developed and presented to my friend and a big brother, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al-Naya, the ruler of the United Arab Emirates. A grant of US 5 million was given by the UAE government through the Abu Dhabi Development Fund. To my friends and brother from the UAE, I would like to say a special thank you for all your development initiative under my leadership. <laughs> Let me also thank the head of my delivery unit, Minister Choko Bongoyon. Oui. The construction workers from BMC Group and the AEP family for making this dream a reality. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, the location of this park holds a dark memory in our history. On these very grounds, 13 senior officials of the Liberian government were publicly executed during the 1980 military coup. While on locals chair, I pray that this facility not only erases from our heart the gloomy period, but that it serves as a testament of the power of reconciliation and unity in the country divided along so many lines. I hope, I hope that the Liberia Unification Park we always remind us that we are stronger together. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, as we view this state-of-the-art facility, let us envision that the park, not just as a collection of fields or coats, but as a vibrant hub where friendship are forged and healthy lifestyle is embraced. The benefit of sports and recreation extend far beyond the physical, the instead values of teamwork, gender equality, social cohesion, discipline, and perseverance. The park should serve as a canvas for individuals to pin their stories of personal growth and elected achievement. 
we hope that by so doing, the community will come together and celebrate the spirit of competition and camaraderie. To God be the glory for the good things that he has done and the good things he will continue to do for Liberia. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, please take care of this place. It is important. It belongs to you. It is for you and use it wisely. And now I have the singular honor and privilege to declare the Liberia Unification Park open. I thank you and God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to invite now Honorable Mohammed K. Jalu for benediction. Well, folks, we have come to the end of the broadcast. And it's time for the benediction. My name is Wendy Jalu. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. partial view of it. He said that they have stores and a place for food. So well folks, <laughs> this was the official opening of the PhD pack to him by President Ad. Mm -hmm. of December of 2023. President named the park in memories of the 13 
military that was killed on this beach during the 1980 military coup to clear that memory out of the mind of the Liberian people and reunite the country as one so the president see that was and name the part as the Liberian Unification Park. The part, the part to say of two many football teams, two many basketball courts, and a two Jimmy, modern Jimmy uh, center where you can carry on Jimmy and and a one big ball feet.
Fox Alves is eight. Focus on Liberia. Brought you live broadcast of the dedication of the Liberia Unification Park here in Busokota PHP community. My name is Gwendolyn Dorado. I said thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.